Walked along the Lake Erie shoreline in recent days, you may have seen an alarming amount of dead fish washed up on the beaches. Two on your sides, Nate Benson is looking into that for us tonight. So Nate, what's going on here? Well, Courtney, it's not the sign of the end of times, just a sign of the end of winter. In the last few days, viewers have been scaling up their emails and text messages to the newsroom with images of dead fish along the Lake Erie shoreline. And it was tasked as my sole responsibility to figure out why. So I casted some inquiries with the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation, and they say an ecological disaster has not occurred. Is this the end times? What are we dealing with here? I'm saying this is a natural occurrence that, that we have seen in the past. Um, this is just a large, a larger scale event than we've seen. Jim Markham is the Region 9 fish manager for the DEC. And in case you're wondering what a fish manager is, Jim schooled me on his day to day workload. You know, we manage all the resources in, uh, in, in Western New York, you know, providing fishing opportunities for, uh, you know, for all the people in Western New York and, and others that, that come into the area. From my perch, that doesn't look too bad. So what's the deal with all the dead fish? Markham tells me that they are alewife fish, invasive to the Great Lakes. They are native to the Atlantic Ocean and work their way into fresh water during the breeding season. These have actually experienced what we call a winter kill, and it's due to the excessive um, ice cover that we had uh, on and cold winter that we had on the lake this year. This is the first year since 2019 that Lake Erie experienced 95% ice coverage during the winter. Now that the ice is thawing, we are seeing the impact it had on the species. There, there is millions of fish that um, that have died and are going to wash up. Since you said they're an invasive species, is is this a good thing for Lake Erie? Markham muscled up his response, saying, "But alewife are not really a great fish to have uh, in your lake." Um, they, uh, they, they are not great for production of our, our native fish species. Um, and when fish eat them, uh, they tend to not, uh, they tend to have trouble reproducing. Now, the DEC says that if you live on the shoreline in these fish wash up, it's safe to remove them. Just use gloves or you can let the local wildlife take care of it for you. On your side, Nate Benson, Channel 2 News.